Hi there, so uh, in this video I'm going to explain um, what a sweat lodge is and how to build one. I don't have one handy here that I can show you. Um, something to consider. I might uh, actually uh, create one out in these woods here. Um, it would be pretty cool to do some sweat lodge ceremonies um, and uh, this would be a good spot for it. But uh, I haven't actually built one here to show you so I'm just going to explain that uh, very uh, briefly at the end. It's a pretty basic concept. So, a sweat lodge is a Native American tradition. It's um, comparable to a sauna, uh, you know, in the Scandinavian tradition, except that it's a different structure. It's a very uh, basic, straightforward structure that you would um, heat up rocks in a fire outside of this little, little uh, dome, and then bring the heated rocks inside a little uh, dome and uh, pour water on them and then it's the hot the, the hot steam that uh, heats up the um, the insides of the, the little building and uh, and gives you the sweat the sweating experience but uh, it's the same concept as a sauna in that in that regard in terms of hot steam that uh, that heats things up and and uh, and then you uh, you sweat out toxins and things so it's a physical cleanse is one aspect of it, but um, a very important element of the sweat lodge is that it is a spiritual journey as well, and there's a whole um, ceremony that goes along with it, which varies considerably, uh, I'm sure based on tribes back uh, when they were being uh, practiced, you know, by the indigenous ancient uh, Native American tribes. Uh, but also as far as just who who might be leading one now nowadays in the modern world. So um, generally, then you go in naked. It doesn't have to be that that way. One thing that I'm going to mention is that uh, for anyone who saw uh, the news story a couple of years ago about the guy um, I forget his name, in which he per was performing uh, sweat lodge ceremonies uh, and charging people for them, and a couple of people died. Um, the sweat lodge that he was doing was this huge, massive structure. Uh, I remember seeing some pictures of it, and that is not what a typical uh, Native American sweat lodge looks like. It shouldn't be this big, big building where you can barely see the uh, uh, person on the other side. I mean, it wasn't that big, but um, a, a traditional sweat lodge uh, would normally be a, a much smaller structure, perhaps 10, 12 feet across that you could squeeze, uh, you know, 10 to 15 people inside, and then you would be sitting in a circle around each other. The sweat lodge that this guy uh, did, he was sitting in one area, and then there were just, there was like a lot of people by the sounds of it, um, sort of packed into this, this area. A sweat lodge should, should be that you're sitting in a little um, circle, and you're, you're seeing the other person across from the circle, um, and so it's just a small little intimate um, experience and then in the center of the circle would be a little hole that the rocks go into. So um, you build a, a basic little structure and I guess I'll kind of explain uh, how to build one in the course of explaining what happens inside it. So you have your uh, sweat lodge dome and it's simply you get some uh, willow branches or some other kind of branches that, that might work and you might just have to look around your local area and see what, what there is that might, might work for this. And um, put some little holes in the ground to put one end of the stick and then you're going to make a basic frame that might be this tall or a little bit taller but you're going to be sitting inside the, the sweat lodge. So uh, it could be, you know, four or five feet tall and you just make this basic little um, wooden framework and putting the ends into the, into the ground and then uh, making it in a circle and then tying uh, as the uh, sticks overlap in certain places then you're going to tie them up to give it a little bit of stability and uh, that's the basic structure and then what you're going to do is throw blankets, tarps, um, whatever you have over it in order to hold the heat in and then you'll have a little entrance doorway that you'll kind of have a flap of uh, a blanket or whatever that's going to go over that in order to completely enclose it but you need a way to get into the into the little sweat lodge and then from the entrance 
uh, into the sweat lodge directly um, in a straight line away from it, then you're going to have a bonfire. Um, not a big, huge, massive bonfire, but uh, a pretty good sized fire, and that's where you're going to heat the rocks. And so you get um, rocks, good sized rocks, you know, anywhere from like this big to this big or so, um, you know, 15, 20, 30 of them. You uh, dig out a dig out a hole to put the fire in, and then um, uh, get the get the sticks going and everything. Build up your your pile of stuff, and then throw the rocks on, and then get the fire going. So basic concept: get a good fire going, throw these rocks in there, and then you're going to um, keep stoking the fire over the course of um, an hour or two until those rocks are glowing um, red hot, and then. This, this is all uh, part of a ritual, preferably, in which the people that are going to participate in the sweat lodge are helping out with the building of the sweat lodge, the gathering of the wood, the finding of the rocks, uh, getting the fire going, and then um, uh, at some point along there, then you might, uh, if you're going to go into the lodge naked, then everyone strips down naked, um, and you're standing around the fire and, uh, you know, watching the flames, maybe talking a little bit, perhaps singing some songs, you know, uh, feeling yourselves coming together as a group, um, because it's a uh, kind of a, sort of a group uh, vision quest of sorts. Um, I, I just talked about uh, what is a vision quest in another video, which is it's a different ceremony, but um, uh, some similarities. And... Uh, most likely someone would be designated as the leader who's going to uh, sort of lead the, the ceremony going forwards. And at some point you decide that the rocks are good and hot, it's ready to go, and, uh, and then uh, someone will start bringing the rocks into the lodge, and then uh, people start filing into the lodge. And, and uh, it's supposed to be a, uh, the entrance into the lodge is kind of small, it would be like this, you kind of have to uh, um, squat down to get into it, so it's kind of a um, an analogy to going back into the womb is one is one analogy, and it's just kind of a, a humbling experience of getting down on your hands and knees on the earth um, and going into this lodge, and then you all go into the lodge and uh, sit uh, cross-legged on the on the dirt, and then whoever's the des designated leader would start. Um, leading the spiritual ceremony and a very common aspect of it is that you uh, you go around and you um, everyone in the lodge will make prayers um, maybe sing a song you know it, it just depends on the leader of the of the sweat lodge what exactly you're going to do but you're going to be talking about what you're grateful for maybe talking about uh, challenges in your life um, and uh, what's happening is the um, hot rocks have been placed in the little hole in the middle of the sweat lodge and the leader of the group is is pouring um, water onto these rocks it's emitting steam and it's steadily getting uh, warmer and warmer in there um, and uh, it can get very intensely intensely hot um, and so it's a time of reflection and contemplation but then also you're tested, you're physically tested to your limits by how uh, hot it starts to get. And at some point you might um, find yourself, you know, bending over and, and uh, you know, squatting on the ground in order to get down to where it's slightly cooler because the hot air rises. Um, and, uh, uh, you know, it can be a very humbling experience of uh, just the intensity of the heat being in this small enclosed structure with uh, other people um, and uh, so you don't necessarily have to be paying attention to what's what's being said around the, the group you might um, kind of go into your own space and, and uh, um, be focusing on what you're experiencing and, and doing whatever you have to do to endure endure the heat and so this could go on for uh, you know 20 30 minutes or so and then um, finally, the leader will say, okay, this, this round is done. You open up the, the flap, some cool air rushes in, and finally you get a break from the heat. Uh, preferably, there is some sort of a water source nearby so that you can go uh, 
clean off uh, in a creek or, some, or a lake or else just buckets of water, wash off the sweat, and then stand around the fire and warm up, um, and uh, then they might start another round. And um, Some people might uh, take part in the next round or else just uh, stand by the fire. And so it's a very powerful, um, both physical and spiritual cleansing experience. And uh, you can really, um, really experience a lot from them and uh, have some pretty, pretty intense uh, emotions and uh, um, memories and thoughts and things come to the surface. So pretty, uh, pretty powerful experience. So thanks a lot for watching. Take care.